on the mm-hmm. sports mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team coming off a dominating performance, 54 nothing over Clarksburg. What would you like from your team in that victory? Uh, I just, you know, I thought everything was clicking that victory. You know, we scored defensively. We were able to move the ball around offensively, uh, get some big hitters offensively. Um, you know, we would have had some special team scores, but we had some penalties that got them called back. Um, so I just thought we, we kind of clicked on all, all facets of the game um, on Friday night. And, Coach, you mentioned to us uh, heading into the game that Clarksburg's head coach was your best man in your wedding. Uh, so what was that like, just getting to see him and coach against him again? Uh, I mean, it was good to see him and, um, you know, get to, to talk to him and reminisce on some days of us playing at Shepherd. Uh, that was really good, you know, being able to see him and coach against your friend is always is, is good, you know. Um, to see how we go we both go about doing things coach your team now improves to seven and two overall a win streak now of five straight both sides of the ball your team's playing very well what are though maybe some things that you still feel like you guys might need to improve on here for the final game of the regular season uh you know just probably trying to minimize uh penalties um and then trying to clean up just some some mistakes, you know, some mistackling, um, just some some coverage malfunctions, um, some misassignments offensively as far as uh, blocking assignments, you know, maybe some missed routes, uh, things of that nature. Just just cleaning up that stuff to make sure uh, when we go into playoffs, we got everything um, corrected and we're all run, rolling, we're ready to roll into the playoffs. And coach, it's a uh, huge rivalry game this week. Washington, Jefferson County rivalry. Um, always, you know, <clears throat> fun matchup, and you kind of got to throw the records out the window when you look at these two teams, coach. So, uh, what are you kind of telling the guys this week? And obviously, they got to be excited heading up against Washington. Uh, you know, just pretty much the same thing we try to say every week. You know, stay lo- stay focused, stay locked in. Uh, don't let your emotions get carried away with this, with the rivalry. Don't get caught up in the talking. Um, you know, we got we got bigger things at stake right now. You know, even though it's a rivalry, we're looking at also ahead, what's going on ahead. As far as playoffs, we want to win the game. We want to get out healthy. We want to try to better our position in the playoff rankings if we can do our part to try to better that uh, position in the, in the playoff rankings. Um, so that's the main thing. We just try to stay, you know, tell them to stay focused. Stay locked in. Don't get caught up in the trash talk and don't get caught up in the extracurriculars. Um, just stay within the realm of the game. Coach Hunter, what have you seen so far off the film about Washington this year? Uh, you know, they're, from what I've seen so far, they're going to they're going to try to pressure us. So they're going to try to blitz us. Uh, so we got to be ready for the blitz packages. Um, you know, they're going to run Delauder. And Delauder's going to try to get downhill on us. Uh, we just got to make sure we get, we get him tackled and wrapped up and get rallied to the football on him. Um, you know, we're we're pretty familiar with his running style, uh, being that he was here at Jefferson for some time. So we're pretty we're pretty familiar with how he runs and how hard he runs. So we just know what we got to do to try to uh, contain him and stop him. Um, we don't know who they may be starting a quarterback this week, whether it be the Went, the young Went. Or even the young Holmes boy. Um, so you know, um, I'm pretty sure defensively we're just going to try to, try to put pressure on those guys um, to see how they handle the pressure um, as far as throwing the ball. Coach, what does this rivalry kind of mean to the two programs? It's still kind of a newer rivalry, but um, obviously you know it's built up over the years. And with the schools being so close, you have kids that I'm sure are friends with kids at Washington. Some kids have played at both schools. So uh, what do you think the rivalry means at this point? I think it, it means a lot to the kids. You know, they do a lot of trash talking. Um, you know, uh, it's gotten built up because, like you said, they've they've known each other over the years. They've played against each other or played with each other over the years. So um, some of these guys have, have played against each other through middle school. Uh, so, um it's a lot of it's a lot of big trash talking going on, um, trying to get that controlled, um, and these kids like to get after it. Coach, the AAA high school football playoff rankings just came out a few minutes ago. Right now, your team in fifth place, 
So has a home game at least for one round, maybe even two if things go well for you guys in the end of the year here. How much, I guess, does home field advantage really play? I know that's still a few weeks away, but how much does being at home help rather than having to travel? I mean, I mean it always helps. I mean, you, you don't have to worry about, you know, getting the kids uh, corralled. You know, they're sleeping in their own bed. They're getting rested. They're being able. Everything's more familiar with them than when you got to travel on the road. You got to you got to go here, eat at a certain time, go here, be here at a certain time. Um, sleeping in a hotel uh, may not be comfortable. Sleeping in a hotel, so uh, you know, trying to make sure the kids um, stick to a certain schedule. Um, so it's just it's a lot easier and it's a lot more familiar to the to the kids if they're home, sleeping in their own bed, same familiar schedule they're always used to. Um, so that I mean, I think that plays a big part in the being, you know, comfortable when you're going to play a home home playoff game is when you're going to play away um, a playoff game. And coach, as of right now, there's four teams in the playoffs um, from the EPAC. Of course, Musselman probably has to win this week to get in, or at least guarantee their spot. But um, just overall, this would be if it if that happens, you know, back to back years where the EPAC gets four teams. In. So what can you say about the, the competition in this conference and just how it's grown over the last few years? In the, it, the competition is, is, is get, has gotten better um, over the years in the EPAC. You know, it's just not uh, a one-headed monster or even maybe Martinsburg and Musselman a two-headed monster. You know, we got teams going in. Um, I, guess, I guess everybody else uh, from the EPAC would just probably say that maybe finally maybe we could probably get some respect from down across the state for the EPAC. Um, we feel like we're just not as respected as some of the other schools across the state, um, and what they call they say their conferences are as opposed to our conference. So uh, maybe now with a couple years that we've gone by getting all these teams in, that we can get some respect across the state. What's your team need to do to get the win this week against Washington? I think just you know play football, play hard football. Uh, don't make any mistakes. Don't get caught up in the, don't get caught up in the emotional hype of the game, uh, stay true to what we do, uh, play assignment, assignment football, clean football. I think we should be able to come away with a victory. All right, Coach, our uh, fun question this week is, who is your favorite athlete? Ooh, oh, my gosh. Um, oh, man, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, – I'm going to go with Emma Smith. Why is that? Emma Smith. Uh, well, I'm a Cowboy fan. Um, watching him go from – and even watching him in, in college from Florida to the NFL and the Cowboys, I just like the way – even though people always talked about the Dallas Cowboys offensive line, I mean, he was still good at what he did. And he played with a lot of heart and a lot of grit. Uh, remembering the, the playoff game where he, he – or the, the game where he actually – had an AC joint sprain in his shoulder, continued to play with that throughout the game. Um, so, and he wasn't a big, he wasn't really a big guy. So, just the way he played, went about how he did, did what he did in the NFL, um, was just something to look up to. And I thought he was a great athlete. All right, Coach Hunter, appreciate the time and good luck this week. All right, thank you.